Look at this. I guess I'm gonna be adding more to car. I love this. This is glass skin. Now I'm in trouble. Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Friends, I have been wanting to try some of the newest holiday collections and also new products from Valentino. This blush, I'm super excited. Also from YSL, the eyeshadow quad. My gosh, friends, I got the new Christian Louboutin Rouge Stiletto Slim Stick. I'm going to try this. You know, <laughs> you know that I'm obsessed with everything that has to do with lipsticks. Also from Givenchy's Holiday Collection, that Prise Livre Skin Caring Highlighter. I have here the new Chiseido Revitalizance Skin Glow and much more. But let's start with the fragrance of the day. House of Siage sent me their new collaboration with Disney, Disney 100 Minnie Mouse Fragrance Limited Edition. By the way, this video is not sponsored. I'm genuinely very intrigued to try this fragrance. I just open it up like just to see inside and to do a little real, you know me. <laughs> if you're not following me on Instagram, Instagram, please come and follow me there. Follow me on TikTok. I do a lot of unboxings, close up images and videos and whatnot of the products. But anyhow, this video is not a sponsor, but it just got me so excited. Wait and see the bottle. You have to see the bottle. So the presentation is always beautiful. I love how these boxes open because you, you know, it goes like this. You get to see what is inside and then you open it this way. So ooh, look at it. If you are a Disney fan, or if you know someone that is a fan of Disney, oh my gosh, they are going to love to receive something like this. Look at this. It reminds me, I think it's an inspiration, obviously, of Epcot because of how is the bottle. Like, super pretty. And if you're new here to my channel, by the way, I film in natural light with a 4K camera. Okay, so when you open it up, you go up like this. Looks like a cupcake. It's so beautiful. Unless it's smell it. Let's see how this does. And also this will give me an idea as it dries down and the fragrance kind of develops and progress. Okay, first thing that I'm going to tell you, as soon as you splash it, it smells very much like a splash of strawberries. Very fresh, very youthful. Let me tell you the notes. Okay, the first note is juicy orange lemon, which, like I said, is very fruity an apple. For the hard notes, lily of the valley, orange blossom, violet, but it doesn't smell floral. Actually, the violet makes it a little bit, not powdery, but a little bit more smooth, I think, also with the lily of the valley. And then base notes, strawberry, sandalwood, and mask. And you know, interesting enough, at first, what I smell the more than the juicy orange lemon and the apple is the strawberries. That's what I smell. I got you closer, friends, have you seen? I got my Christmas tree up, all my Christmas decorations. By the way, when I'm uploading this video, it's going to be December 1st, so happy December. Let's prep the leaves with something that is so new to me, not new in the market, but is that La Mer, the lip volumizer. Okay, friends, you know that I really love some sort of like lip plumping, but nothing that is painful, so I have high hopes on this. I have heard just the best things about it. Oh, it smells minty. Okay, let's try it. Okay, it feels kind of like thick in consistency, but not too thick. Oh, there's no tingly sensation, but I can feel the mintiness. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna let it leave and breathe in there. <laughs> and now let's go with this. Shiseido Revitalizans Skin Glow. It does have SPF 30. I do not rely on my makeup to have SPF. I usually use my sunscreen way before I apply my makeup, but I enjoy products that they do have SPF because it's kind of like a little booster. It comes in 30 different shades. And let me tell you other details about this foundation. By the way, let me show you this case. You know, my friends, I just got, well, about a month ago when he launched the new iPhone 15, I got mine, my iPhone 15. This is the Pro, but not the Max, just the Pro. But look at this case, completely love obsessed. It does have a little ring to make it a stand if you're watching something, but without losing, you know, that luxury look. Royal Cases sent it to me, not only in black, but they also sent me that white style, which I think is so cool, so pretty. And then also the pink one, like I said, 
This video is not sponsored, but I'm gonna bug them and see if they will give me a discount code for you, my friends. So I will leave it on the description box below along with the links of all the products that I will be trying today. Going back to the foundation, it says that it has a medium coverage, radiant finish, liquid with ingredients such as fermented kefir. Okay, that, that's interesting because that's a prebiotic niacinamide, which it helps with the smooth and brightening the skin. Quickly, even your skin will pores, I do have a large pore and it will hydrate your skin for up to 24 hours. Okay, I'm not gonna do a full wear test of 24 hours, but we will definitely go beyond the 12 hours. It comes with a pump and I got it in the shade 310. All these details, I will also post them on the description box below and as a pinned comment. So I will just copy and paste the description box and just leave it as a comment. So let's just go ahead and try it. I didn't put any primer, nothing, nada. Okay, this shade looks very nice and neutral. And you know what? It has kind of like a little bit of a cooling sensation. It looks nice. Oh, you know what? I also got this Sephora Pro Brush set. And I went ahead and washed all the brushes, but I have not used them yet. So let's go ahead and use, okay, the number 47 from Sephora. Oh my gosh, let me tell you, I don't feel any burning sensation with the lip treatment from La Mer, but do you see what I see? My lips, they look more plump, and even the skin tone on my lips is more even. I'm liking this a whole lot, a lot. Okay, friends, let's go with this brush. You know, it reminds me to the BK Beauty brush, the 109, where it's slanted, and it has pretty much the same shape, but it's just a little bit smaller. Okay, let's apply this baby. Ooh. Okay, the brush is really soft. You know, I don't feel like this gives a medium coverage, at least not for me, that I have a ton of freckles. I do have some sunspots, but you know what? I actually like foundations that look more natural and that they don't look like a mask on my face. And I feel like also the shave is perfect for my skin tone. Okay, I feel soft right now. It gave me more of a light coverage, close to medium. And I don't even want to build it up too much. Perhaps just a little bit right here by the cheeks. And also that's where I have my large pores. So let's see if it truly blurs them. And it doesn't have any scent, or at least that I can perceive. Foundation is super liquidy though. And it does have a beautiful radiant finish. Not glowy, but truly radiant. It looks like, like if you got a splash with water, like that. So very hydrating rather than moisturizing heavy. Let's take care of the under eye area. I'm going to go with my Charlotte Tilbury color corrector. And just use a tiny bit to cancel these dark under eye circles that look so bad. <laughs> so bad, look at that. <sighs> they are horrible. Going with one of my favorite concealers that I have tried lately, the House Labs. I'm very, very impressed about this concealer, honestly. Just gonna use one, two, three dots. That's it. And while you marinate, I'm going to fill out my brows with the Florasis Brow Pencil. I actually love this formula. It's super easy to apply and it's non-waxy. It doesn't feel dry. Brows are done. Sephora 71 brush to blend the concealer. But let me let me show you. Doesn't it look very much alike to the Angie Hot and Flashy A506 brush? I think perhaps this one is more dense. This one is more like not super airy. Same kind of shape, same kind of concept, but not as packed. Really nice brush. It's not leaving streaks and spreading the concealer really well. Gotta love this concealer, so good. It does have plenty of coverage. I will say a solid medium coverage right away. And perhaps for many of you, full coverage. I'm sure not everybody has the dark under eye circles that I have. Mine are terrible. Blue, purplish in tone, like very, and plus I have hollow areas under my eye and also on the sides of my eyes so yeah they're very difficult to cover but 
this concealer does a great, great job. A couple weeks ago, I tried the RMS Supernatural Radiance Serum. It's an SPF in a serum form. I'm completely in love, completely in love. I actually mix the medium with the light one. Pretty much equal parts and it gives me the perfect shade, but I also have the deeper shade and I wanna try it as a bronzer and see how this goes. So I'm just gonna put a little bit right here on this palette from Hindash. Going back with the Sephora 47 brush, the same one that I use for the foundation. I'm just gonna tap a couple dots here, a little bit right here, and a little bit right here. You know, if this works, it will be amazing for protecting this area where I have my sunspots, which I'm trying to protect even more because I don't want those sunspots to get even darker. And I'm thinking perhaps to get into a treatment of sorts to get rid out of them because it's becoming to a point that they are kind of bothering me. I had been able to control them in terms like that they are not getting darker, but I also want to see a little bit more that they will fade a little bit more. Look at this. Oh, it works perfect. You know, as a light bronzer, like daily bronzer. Mm. Sephora 98 brush and Shantikai Radiant Glow Blur Powder. I'm obsessed with this powder. So good, so smoothing, and it also brightens up the areas that you wanna bring forward. In this case, a little bit of my under eye area. Let me tell you, the foundation didn't emphasize my large pores or my fine lines, and in fact, it kind of blurred a little bit of them too. Just gonna apply a little bit of this powder right here. Now for blush, I'm from Valentino's Holiday Collection. Pink is Punk, which is a shade that is so iconic for the brand. It actually came on the liquid lipstick slash blush that it was released a little earlier this year. Great formula, by the way, very moussey, blurring too, but look at this shade. It gives all the Barbie vibes, but it does have a little bit more of a cooler tone. It comes with a little brush too here. Okay, now that has a lot of pigment. <laughs> that is a lot of pigment. Look, I, I just wipe it and there's still more in there. <gasps> okay, going with a 93 brush by Sephora, but I'm gonna go lightly because I already see the pigment and oh wow. Okay, let's go for it. See how this goes. I like that the compact has a mirror too. Okay, lots of pigmentation. Oh, oh, okay, let me just spread a little bit on this side too because this is pigmented. So if you have a deeper skin tone and you are looking for a pink shade, this definitely could be for you. I love this formula from Valentino's. It's just such a breeze to blend. It also has a lot of emollients, so it does have that skin-like finish. Like if you are natural blush and the shade is so pretty. All the Barbies in the house, <laughs> please raise your hand. <laughs> Leave a comment. <laughs> Let's work on this. Okay, tap lightly, my friends. Tap lightly, but it's a beautiful, gorgeous shade. And the compact. Love this compact. So pretty. There were more items from the collection. There was another blush, which I already have it. It's a re-promoted shade, and I didn't feel like, okay, just buying it for the compact, although pretty. I don't want to have doubles of the same shade. Also the lipsticks. I love the white casing. So beautiful, but again, shades that I already have, so there was no point for me to pick it up. Now from Givenchy, their holiday collections are always very petite, understated, and this is the same case. They launched basically highlighters. One, the loose one, but it's the same shade of last year, which I have, and I completely adore. It's a beautiful, beautiful shade. If you have been wanting and want to know about it, I do have a review here on my channel from last year. Get it. I 100% stand by it. But I wanted to try this new Prince Livre Skin Caring Highlighter, which actually comes in two shades. I picked up Rosé, which is a little bit more of a frosty shade, perfect for the season. The other shade looks beautiful too, but it seems like to be one for someone that has perhaps a little bit of a deeper complexion. And this one, I'm gonna be very honest with you, it looks very frosty, very, very frosty. So like, look at that. 
super frosty. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take whatever I have on this swatch because I don't want to look like a team man. And that's something that I'm a little bit concerned of, but I'm not going to talk anymore about the product without trying it. Sephora 98 brush. And I'm just going to tap lightly right here and see, see what's the glow. Oh, oh, that's so beautiful. Actually, this is perfect. I thought it was going to be... Oh, I love this. This is glassy skin. This is just giving me some translucency. Do you see it there? Very ethereal. There's not a big, strong pink hue. Look, I'm going to show you. Like, I'm just going like this on my hand. Because I'm thinking you can even use these as a primer. Oh, definitely, yes. Do you see right there? Look, look at my hand. You see that glow? It doesn't carry like a ton of pigment that it will look kind of weird. Okay, this is a really nice product. I'm just gonna apply a tiny bit more here on my hand. See, give that kind of like pearly effect. Oh yeah, yeah, this is pretty. This is so pretty. I mean, you can apply it with a brush or also just tap, tap, tap and go with your finger. And... Mm. Natural glow. Okay, don't be afraid of it. I do have a light to medium skin tone and this is just perfect. But you know what? Let's just add a little bit of bronzer. Chanel brush uh, 110 and then Surat bronzer in the shade Soleil Du. Just going to cup a little. Mm -hmm. this is perfect and this will help just to set a little bit the cream bronzer I'm just doing very cautious and then use it as a bronze tour so good friends let's go for the white yourself eyeshadow quad I know this is a re-promote eyeshadow quad I know the color story you can find it on the permanent line but who will resist it beautiful case marble with gold so festive so pretty so feminine this little clutch oh so beautiful but let me tell you what happened it fell down and the black shade completely shattered i half repressed it and i'm gonna insert here a close-up because this actually happened while i was taking a little video for a reel and it shattered so i will show you parts of the reel so you can see this beauty but oh my goodness i'm in love it's completely holiday in a palette i feel so bad to do this because i'm gonna ruin the embossing of a snowflake it has an embossing of ysl here oh my gosh but we have to do this as usual so creamy look at that silver okay so we have a metallic shade Ooh. okay look at that it's very interesting it's kind of like sheer and it has a lot of golden specks now let's go for the lightest shade which i feel is the base shade oh yeah this is the base shade it's just like a nudey peachy tone and then the black shade it does have some blue sparkles like light light shimmers what do you think Sephora 27 brush. I'm going to go to the lightest shade and let's apply it on the eyelid. I'm just going to apply it all over the eyelid. Okay, super smooth. It doesn't really give me a shade, quote unquote. This shade is blending in with my skin tone. It's just making this area a lot more even. With my finger, I'm just going to this gold shade and... I'm going to apply it all over my mobile lid. Ooh. This is just giving a little bit of a sparkles. It doesn't really have a base. So I think perhaps if you use the black one as a base and then you go over top with it, you can achieve that very dramatic look. But friends, it's early here. <laughs> and I'm not planning to go grocery shopping with a smoggy eye look. Although we can do something about it, right? Let's go with the black shade and Sephora's number 15 brush. And I'm just gonna smoke it out here, yeah, on the outer third. Okay, with this black shade, when blending it, it looks more of like a pewter tone. And uh, no fallout. I'm wondering, like, this is how it will look in something very, like, soft and subdued. Let me just grab the silver shade also with my finger and I'm just gonna put oh yeah 
Look, and even mixing with the gold, it looks so good. <laughs> Sephora 15 brush and I'm gonna go back again to the black shade and I'm just going to intensify in the outer V. Yeah, because we need something right there to really smoke it out. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is going to the gold shade and I'm just gonna tap it right on the center. See if I can see some of those sparkles. It's a very interesting shade because it just gives a little bit of specks of gold, but it doesn't really have pigmentation under it. Sephora 20 brush, going to the black shade. I know this is more for brows, but I'm going to line my lower lash line with it. Line the upper lash line with my Tom Ford Double Ended Liquid Liner. I also use on my waterline this Hourglass gel liner and for mascara this is the mascara right now for me so good by hermes i was really skeptical in a way because of the one but oh my gosh if it gives so much separation volume carries so much pigment too and it's so easy to apply it's not super wet either so like you see like with one pass it just gives you kind of that everyday kind of look, but then if you build it up, it would just keep giving and giving more length, more separation, never clumpy. The other thing that I really love about it is that it's super easy to remove. It doesn't claim or says anywhere that it's a tubing mascara, but you can remove it with actually water. I know. And it doesn't come off in clumps. It just simply kind of like melts away, yet it does hold the curl. And look, with this wand, it's so easy to get on the lower lashes. So amazing. I mean, look at this side to this side. Now, let's talk about block mask. I don't really want to promise anything because I have a very hectic lifestyle. I'm just going to try to do my best to upload as many videos as possible. But I don't really want to compromise or promise that I will do one every single day. But stay tuned and make sure you have your post notification bell on so you don't miss my uploads because it will be so sad if I'm trying to upload as much as possible and even every day to receive like crickets for each of my uploads. So stay tuned, be connected. And by the way, if you're liking this video so far, give it a like, okay? That helps a lot because we need to grow our family. We are going into, what, five years? And we are still under the 30,000. I think we can do a lot more <laughs> than that. Love my lashes. So good. And let me tell you, this lip treatment by La Mer, so good. It plumped my lips. Do you see how even it looks, the pigmentation on my lips? It's all that La Mer product and it wasn't painful at all. This is way, way better than, what was it, Dr. Jart or Dr. Brand? I don't even remember the one that went viral. This is way better than that. Okay, I just tap it off and now look what I got. You know my obsession with the candy glazes by YSL. And although I know this is a re-promote shade, I didn't have it in my collection. And yes, I wanted to add it on this packaging. It's so pretty. <laughs> and it's just clear. I know this is just gonna give me kind of like a lip gloss kind of effect. Hold on. Juicy lips. Mm -hmm. I love this formula so much because it's not going everywhere, it's not melting, it just hugs your lips it, it does have a little bit of a grip to them and they don't feel heavy now let's go for tom ford holiday collection i know i know i have already reviewed it but there were some lip glosses that they launched alongside but they were also re-promotes and the lip glosses were not available when the eyeshadow palette launched and i have already reviewed the eyeshadow palette the highlighters blah 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 but i want to switch the lip gloss because i picked up sunrise pink which was actually a recommendation from one of my sweet followers and then i already have on my collection inhibition so i thought you know might as well let's just swatch it because if you're planning to get the ones on the limited edition packaging might as well for you to see the shades in action sunrise pink the lip glosses from Tom Ford, they are just so good. Oh, this shade is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Okay, that pink shade, it's 
stunning. It's very neutral and it looks completely like my lips, but better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is my vibe, <laughs> completely my vibe. While we're here, let me tell you that this fragrance by House of Siage, I can still smell the strawberry, but it's becoming a little bit more musky. This is a fragrance meant to be for everybody. Let's go for Tom Ford Inhibition, number eight. So good. So, so good. Now this is more of a warm tone, deeper nude, a little bit on the terracotta side. So beautiful. I mean, like disregard the eye look, obviously, because this is a warm tone, but this is kind of like the perfect shade for fall time. Or if you have a deeper complexion too, it could be a perfect nude for you. Mm, so good. Now, what everybody was waiting for, the Christian Louboutin lipstick. Oh my, you know. Christian Louboutin lipsticks, they are always something to look forward to and wait and see the packaging. It's just so gorgeous. They come in so many different shades. I picked up obviously a nudie tone. I shouldn't say obviously, but I thought, you know, might as well let's do a nudie tone because I was thinking about this kind of like holiday kind of look and the shade is Bear Kate. It comes like that. L look at this, like a stiletto. I mean, obviously you can take out the tag. Super pretty, super bougie. Okay, you don't have to, <laughs> you know, you don't have to unscrew it. You just need to pull it out. Totally and a still a little vibe. And the shade looks fantastic. I'm gonna swatch it here first. Let's see. Okay. Oh, and by the way, I didn't mention this is in the satin finish. It also comes a matte finish. Okay. Let's do the swatching here. Ooh, okay, this is a perfect nude tone. It's a little bit, does have like a little neutral pink hue to it. Oh, this is so good. What a gorgeous shade. Oh, and I love the formula. The formula on this is just incredible. Mm. This is the perfect shade for this eyeshadow look, but let me remove it because I have bought this Makeup by Mario lip pencil in the shade Smoky Pink, and this is the first time that I'm gonna try the Makeup by Mario lip pencils, which I heard just the best things about it, so let's just go for it. Oh, this is the perfect My Lips But Better. You see, it's not giving too much of a shadow. This shade looks like, at least on my lips, it looks like a continuation of my lip shade. And let's go for the lipstick again. Look at that. Okay, I guess I'm gonna be adding more to car. <laughs> oh, my friends, now, I'm in travel. This is the final look, super holiday. And I really love how, every, I mean, the outcome, everything looks so beautiful. The eyeshadows, the blush, the highlighter, the beautiful foundation, my gosh. I'm so impressed about this foundation because it's like super lightweight. It feels more like a skin tint, like that. Very light and not too glowy. I mean, it's just, Perfect, the lipstick. Oh, and the lip treatment by La Mer. Um, like that, I know, I know. Completely obsessed with it. Oh, so in love, so in love. Okay, my friends, now I wanna hear from you. Have you tried any of these products that I have tried today? Which ones you like them? Which ones they are going on your wish list? Or which ones you are adding to cart immediately? Let's just continue that conversation on the comment section down below. Are you at it? And if you haven't done so yet, I wanna invite you to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. It will be amazing if you can please come and follow me both on my Instagram and TikTok. If you like this video, please, please, please give it a huge thumbs up. Share it, share it with family and friends. And if you're not and watching my content i will be leaving a couple other videos right here that i'm sure you're gonna love until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day mm -hmm.